Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with a bonus love reading for your sign. As I mentioned a couple of days ago that I would promise you to, uh, that I would promise to make it up to you. So here I am with a bonus love reading. This will be good for whenever you come across it Capricorn, okay? This reading is good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Capricorn placements. And to the cross watchers checking in on a Capricorn in your life, please take the messages as they best resonate for you. Feel free to reverse the roles if you need to. Otherwise, uh, I do r always recommend a personal booking because or a personal reading because it's more specific and suited to your current situation. So if that's something that should interest you Capricorn, all the details on how to work with me will be in the show more section just below this video. Otherwise, we're just going to open up the reading now. We're going to give the animal spirit cards a little bit of a shuffle. We're going to get the strongest energy surrounding your person. We're going to go freestyle with this reading Capricorn. Okay. And uh, we'll clarify any necessary cards as I move through the reading. So spirit angels and guides. Please show us the strongest energy of the person that Capricorn is connecting to or dealing with at this time. So whoever you're thinking of Capricorn when you're clicking on this video is who, we're, who, is who we are reading for. Okay, so Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the strongest energy surrounding the person that Capricorn is connecting to and dealing with in love at this time. Spirit Angels and Guides. Please show us the strongest energy surrounding this person. Please show us the strongest energy surrounding this person. Ooh. Okay. I'll take the first card, which is the dragonfly. <clears throat> okay. Pop these over here. All right, Capricorn. So... This is air, so you could be connecting to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some, for some of you, that's going to be confirmation. For others of you, this is just the energy of uh, the person. This is just the energy your person's embodying at this time. Sorry, Mercury retrograde shadow period is already affecting me. <laughs> um, I'm seeing this blue triangle. I'm seeing this blue triangle as two things, right? One, this person's throat chakra. And two, the downward pointing triangle does represent water. Okay, it does represent water here. So I feel Capricorn, there is someone here that wants to or needs to speak their truth around how they truly feel with you. Now, it could be their feelings for you, okay, or how the situation is making them feel. <clears throat> I do see a vulnerability surrounding this person. So maybe they feel afraid or scared to speak on how they feel. Um, I do see them overthinking this, though. I do see them in their head about it which is what's causing the which is what's causing them to feel uh, vulnerable because there might be some fear coming up here with regards to them speaking their truth or sharing their feelings communicating their feelings expressing their feelings hmm I'm going to expand on this, okay? So I'm going to get some more cards surrounding this dragonfly because I need to understand why they are intellectualizing their feelings or why they're intellectualizing this. <clears throat> All right, let's find out more. Spirit angels and guides, can we expand on this dragonfly? Why is the dragonfly here with regards to Capricorn's person's energy? Oh, okay. We've got the five of wands. 
maybe there's been some conflict here between the both of you. Maybe you guys have recently had a fight. Maybe you're not seeing eye to eye. Maybe this person feels like you're not on the same page. You want something different to what they want. Maybe with the dragonfly here, Capricorn, this person knows that they need to tell you the truth of how they feel, but they might be avoiding telling you because of the conflict that might occur or the drama that it might create. The reason why there is drama here in the first place is because this person isn't being truthful and honest with you. So I can see here, you want this person to tell you the truth. And that's the reason why there's um, drama here surrounding the situation. I feel like this person is trying to avoid the drama, but avoiding the drama is creating the drama. <clears throat> mm. Okay, let's find out more. Oh, okay, we've got the Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. Okay. So yeah, this person's definitely in their feels. I can see it here with the Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. So the Nine of Cups speaks to a wish fulfillment. I can see that this person desires to put the conflict between the both of you to, to bed. Okay, they wanna solve the conflict, they wanna resolve the conflict. Uh, they don't want to fight with you anymore. They don't want to argue with it, with you anymore. This is their wish. Okay, this is their wish at this time. Mm. I can see why they're feeling vulnerable because the Four of Cups is here. So they feel like if they reach out to you to express their feelings, that you will reject them or you will give them the cold shoulder. I feel like this, I feel at this point, Capricorn, you might be a little over it. Mm. This person may also feel like it's a little too late. That's why they, that's why they're nervous to speak. Because they feel here with the Four of Cups, oh, what if it's too late? What if Capricorn doesn't want to hear what I have to say? Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely feeling fragile right now. Okay, let's have a look at their intentions. Spirit, angels and guides, what does this person intend? What are their intentions with regards to Capricorn? What is this person's intentions with regards to Capricorn? <clears throat> what is this person's intentions with regards to Capricorn at this time? What do they intend here with Capricorn? Oh, yes, the Ten of Cups. I like that. Yeah, they intend to restore the connection. They, they intend to restore the harmony of your connection, okay, of your relationship. This Ten of Cups is contentment, okay? They intend to restore the emotional connection that you two both have or that you two both had 
for some of you, you may have children with this person. Okay, I'm hearing, you know, for the sake of the family or for the sake of the children. I, I want to make peace. I want to do the right thing. They intend to be closer to you. Okay. Um, they they intend to be closer to you. They intend to feel closer to you, like emotionally speaking. They intend to tell you, for some of you, they intend to communicate and tell you that you're the one that they want to be with. They intend to tell you that you are very important to them. So that's their intention. That's the main goal here. Wow, look at this. The King of Cups. Yeah, I could feel that this person was in their emotions and feels. I feel like this person intends to communicate and express their desires and how they truly feel with you, about you. You know, the King of Cups, this is someone who really has strong feelings for you. They don't always tell you this though. Um, maybe at times this person doesn't really, maybe they suck at really showing it. But I do feel with regards to this person's intentions, they would like to restore, yeah, very strongly here, the emotional relationship. They intend to be more understanding and considerate of your position or your feelings. I feel like the King of Cups is kind of like holding space. So they intend to kind of just hold space for you and show you that they still care, that you still mean a lot to them. They intend to show up in a mature way. Okay. Okay, I like it so far. Tell us more. Tell us more. Please show us this person's intentions. Yeah, look at this. Six of Cups. More Cups energy. We've got three Cups cards in their intentions. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but the Six of Cups is this person intends to restore your relationship. Okay, they miss you, you're important to them, they want to give to the relationship, they want to give to you, they want to offer you their support, they want to offer you their love. If they weren't there for you before, they are now or they at least intend to be. All right, what actions will this person take? I feel like that's pretty straightforward. What actions will this person take? Spirit, angels and guides, what actions will this person take towards Capricorn at this time? What actions will this person take? Ooh, judgment. I like that. Judgment. Two major arcanas coming in here. The Magician. Oh, I like that. Yeah, look at this. The magician is cool because this person is taking accountability and responsibility to do the right thing by you here. You know? I feel like the judgment card is speaking to like a resurrection. They want to resurrect the union. They want to resurrect the relationship. They want to restore the relationship.
Oh my goodness, the Hierophant. Major Arcana for Taurus. They've got three Major Arcanas with regards to their actions. They're, this person is making big and bold moves. The Hierophant is, it's a committed energy. So with regards to the actions they're going to take, I feel like this person promises to perhaps be more reliable or be more dependable, be more committed. Um... Hmm. This person wants a higher level of commitment with you here. I'm going to clarify these cards. Spirit, tell me more about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here with regards to... So I like the judgment because the judgment is kind of like it's an announcement. And we can see here this person they are the dragonfly we can see that they've got something to say so i feel like with regards to their actions that they will communicate their truth they will communicate their feelings to you they will open up and confess how they feel okay this is a major decision on their end but i feel like they they feel like it's the right decision Especially if they intend to have a long and lasting union and relationship here with you. Because they see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their happily ever after Capricorn. They, they don't see themselves doing life with anybody else. Okay, they're hoping with the judgment card here that you give them a second chance. Or that you will accept them back in. Yeah, look at that. Yep, I'm telling you right now. So with regards to their actions, they are going to speak their truth. And I feel that this will have a positive outcome. Okay, it feels victorious. It feels like a breakthrough. Maybe it's the breakthrough that you're waiting for. Capricorn. Okay, tell us more about the magician. Tell us more about the magician. Why is the magician here in this person's actions? Why is the magician here in this person's actions? Oh, what's that one doing there? yep more communication okay they're feeling confident with sending you this message okay i feel with because the four of cups here we can see here that they were nervous about you know reaching out to you or sending you a message but it's kind of like with the magician they're going to overcome the nerves and they're going to overcome those nerves because they really desire to communicate this with you. Okay, they, they really desire and long to tell you something very important here. And I love the Page of Wands because generally speaking, the Page of Wands is positive news. So I feel like this is a, a positive, positive news uh, it's a wonderful announcement. I feel definitely that this is going to make you happy or it's going to put a smile on your face. Maybe you've been waiting for this for quite some time, like I said, and it's like finally it's happening. Mm. Okay, let's find out why the Hierophant is here. Spirit angels and guides, tell us more about the Hierophant. Tell us more about the Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks to a card of marriages as well. We've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? <clears throat> I 
Ace of Wands. Oh, okay. So it's telling me here that um, previously they weren't ready for something serious or previously they weren't ready for something committed. Uh, maybe they just weren't ready to settle down. But I feel like this person has had some time to really think about things. Okay. And I feel, yeah, the Ace of Wands is just telling me here that previously, in the past, they weren't ready. Um, but it seems like they are now. It seems like they are now, Capricorn. All right, so with that being said, let's find out how you're going to respond to this situation. <laughs> okay, let's see how you're going to respond. I'm gonna continue with the same deck. Just give them a bit of a shuffle. I'll we'll just move these cards up here. <clears throat> okay. All right, so spirit angels and guides, how is Capricorn going to respond to this situation? How will Capricorn respond to this situation? Tell us more, spirit, tell us more. Okay, seven of swords, justice, and the emperor. I feel like with the seven of swords, you're going to tread carefully. That's what you're saying to me here. Rosa, I'm just going to tread carefully. Um, I'm just going to take it one day at a time. I don't feel... I feel like at this point for you, Capricorn, it's like you're looking for consistency because you don't trust this person, okay? That's what the Seven of Swords is telling me. You don't fully trust them at this at this time. You're just going to tread very, very carefully and you will make your own judgment call. Mm. Yes, I feel with the Emperor here, you're definitely in the hot seat. You're definitely in a power, uh, in a position of power to make the final judgment call, I feel. Mm. I feel with the Emperor here, uh, Capricorn, you demand, you're kind of like saying to me, Rosa, at this point, I really do demand that this person pull up their socks. Okay, you're expecting you know, higher standards from this person. It's kind of like with the emperor, you're saying they have to come to me correct. They have to really show me how committed they are. Hmm. Yeah, even with the justice card, I feel like you are the judge and the jury here. That's what you're saying, Rosa. I'm going to be the judge and the jury. Okay, I'm going to be the judge of this person's character. I feel like you are judging this person's character. I feel like you are assessing their character. You're seeing how consistent they are with you. You're looking for consistency. You're looking for reliability. You're looking for accountability. You're looking for the truth. And yeah, <laughs> judge and jury. You're the judge and jury here. Justice card does speak to marriage. So for some of you, you do want to marry this person. Okay, that goes without saying. 
you can see yourself committing to this person, but first you're expecting X, Y, Z. You need this person to show up in a particular way. Yeah, it's kind of like you want this person to really put their best foot forward. They're going to have to do their best to kind of like impress you. Because with the Emperor here, you have really high standards or you're setting the bar really, really high. That's what you're saying. You're setting the bar really, really high here. Um, okay, I, I'm just going to clarify. What do I want to clarify here? I don't know. I just keep looking at the Emperor. So let's clarify the Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? Yeah, Five of Swords in reverse. Well, I can see why you're setting high standards because in the past I feel that this person may have played like lots of mind games with you with the Five of Swords in reverse and I don't feel like you're tolerating that anymore. Okay, you're, you're not tolerating it. Yeah, you feel like this person played too many head games or mind games. And it's interesting because they've got the Ace of Swords. Right? So they know very well here that they have to come towards you with the truth. Okay, they have to come towards you with a clear decision. They need to be transparent with you here because Five of Swords can be sometimes like in two minds. The reason why someone plays mind games is because they don't know what it is that they want. Here, it tells me here, they do know what they want. Okay. So that's your reading Capricorn. That's all I have for you at this time. I do hope that was helpful and insightful. Feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below. And I will see you next week in my next Capricorn reading for you. Take care, have a lovely weekend Capricorn, and I'll speak to you soon.